Hello there, Hydrauliac here. Today we will be going over how to read a basic open center diagram. If you're new to the channel or new to hydraulics, I suggest you check out this playlist first. If you have already learned some of the basics and are wanting to apply some of that knowledge, this is the video for you. There is no hard rule about where to start when trying to read a schematic. However, it is helpful to isolate the system and slowly work your way out from the pump. The pump can often immediately tell you a lot about the system. In this case, I know this has to be my pressure side because there is only one arrow pointing outward from the pump. Therefore, I know this other side is my suction. You can also tell this because it is connected to a reservoir here. I will be using red to indicate high pressure and blue to indicate low pressure return and suction lines. I also know the pump has a fixed displacement because there is no diagonal arrow. This tells me the system is likely open center. I then follow the pressure line from the pump to this valve. Because there is a path for the oil to flow through the valve while it is in the centered position, this confirms that this is an open center system. While in the centered position, the oil flows through the valve and back to the reservoir. If we actuate the directional valve, it will control the flow of oil to either extend or retract a cylinder. The oil on the non-pressurized side of the cylinder needs somewhere to go in order for the cylinder to move, and the directional valve provides a path back to the reservoir. In an open center circuit, you can run multiple functions in series. Let's see what this looks like if we add a motor function after this cylinder. In this case, the motor will always be running. The only way to turn the motor off is to turn the pump off. To be able to turn the motor off independently of the pump, we need to add a blocking valve. In an open center system, we always need a path for oil to flow, so we add a blocking valve like this. Oil will always follow the path of least resistance, so even though there is still a path for oil to travel to the motor, it will take the easier route and bypass the motor through this valve. Thus, with the valve in this position, the motor is turned off. If we actuate the valve, now the easy path is blocked and the oil is forced to run through the motor. However, this setup has some problems. If we actuate the directional valve to extend the cylinder, the oil from the low pressure side of the cylinder will be pushed through the motor. The motor may change the rate it is turning, but it will still turn. However, once the cylinder reaches the end of its stroke, we reach a condition known as deadheaded. There is no more oil to push out of the cylinder, and the oil being pushed out of the pump has nowhere to go. This will cause a high pressure spike that could potentially damage components, cause an unsafe condition for the operator, and stall whatever is driving the pump. To prevent that dangerous case, all open center systems need a relief valve. If we add a relief valve to this circuit, it could look something like this. When the pressure spike occurs, this pilot signal actuates the relief valve and provides a path for the pump to push oil back to the reservoir, protecting the whole system. And now you have read a whole hydraulic schematic. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. As always, thanks for watching.